It's a wealthy Wednesday. Despite high prices on everyday items, many Americans planning to travel this summer. But the careful in the cruel reality is don't go into debt mm. uh, for a fun vacation. Yeah. Uh, local financial instructor Michael Mazarin from the Retirement Education Foundation here to help us plan our trip. And Michael, that is part of it. Uh, how much planning actually goes into it? Do people have budgets? Do people not have budgets? Well, hopefully it's the first part. <laughs> Ideally, planning is the first part, but you'd be surprised how many people just kind of get an idea in their head for a vacation and they book it without really mapping out how much mm. is the airfare going to cost? How much is the hotel going to cost? How much is the food and the, and the drinks going to cost? And all the activities. It can really rack up over time. Yeah. And so the first step is planning and budgeting. Now, from a budgeting perspective, hopefully we've been budgeting all year up until this point for this vacation. If we wake Ooh. up one day thinking, you know what, I want to take a vacation tomorrow and we haven't been saving for it, let's slide that vacation six months from now or a year from now and start saving for it. That's really the first step is budgeting and planning. And talk to me about also communicating that budget <laughs> with the family because if you can be on the same page, you'll have a much better experience. But that, that communication piece, I feel like, is also uh, a barrier that people don't talk about. Yeah, I think this is really about you know setting expectations up front to make sure that everyone in the family knows, okay, what are we doing on this vacation? And if it's younger kids, they're not going to understand the cost factor here. But we can at least explain we're doing this thing, this thing, and this thing. We are not doing that thing over there. And so now everyone going into the vacation understands what are we doing, what are we not doing, and it may, it, it'll hopefully help to avoid some of those you know, tantrums or missed expectations from the kids. Are we talking about setting aside a specific amount of money and no matter what, that's it? Or, I mean, how much flexibility is there? Because you have to expect when you get on the trip, there's going to be, you know, some cool new exhibit or <laughs> you know, some big dinner, the cost of, you know, these dinners off the charts these days. So how do you, do you take from one pot, okay, if we do this tonight, we're not doing the so-and-so at the end of That's the trip. That's a great way to do it. If, if there's something that pops up on the trip where, ooh, you know what, we didn't realize they'd have this dinner or that experience we can try and do, well, let's grab, we'll, we'll not do this thing tomorrow, we'll do this thing tonight instead. To try to keep that overall vacation spend inside the budget is really important. What do you say to somebody with this mindset, you're really going to hate this, you're really going to hate this? I can do it now. Look at these cute kids. This is a big experience for them. I can take on some other job or get more money later. I'll just charge it now. I know, but you know that's the mindset once you're there. I can charge it and I'll, we'll just figure it out later. Just figure it out later. We hear that all the time. Yeah. Well, I mean, we really do. And I get it. I really do. Yeah. But this financial stress, people really underestimate how many aspects of our lives financial stress can seep in. And I'll, I'll charge it now. They, look how happy the kids are. That's happy on, on yeah. that day. But a month, two months, two years later, if we're mm. still paying for that mistake. It causes a lot of unhappiness down the road. And chances are, Michael, if you take that mind mindset for one vacation. You're taking that mindset for many other Probably aspects life. of your life. For yeah. a lot of things. Right. And really, I mean, that financial discipline goes a long way to just really make sure, not just vacations, but we're budgeting for everything we want to do in our lives as much as we can yeah. and stick within that budget. This is important. I want to get this in. So we've budgeted. We've taken our trip. We get home. Now what? Pay off the credit cards. If we're using the credit cards on the trip, which I don't mind, mm -hmm. I mean, you get great points, there's protections, pay the credit cards off. If, if we're taking a trip based on credit cards and no plan to pay them off when we get back, don't take that trip. Oh, wow. Because that vacation, if, if we're going to put 5000 10000 bucks in the credit card for the vacation, and we'll just pay it off over time, yeah. that vacation could take you years to pay off. I mean, interest, uh, credit card interest rates are 20, 25% right now. And don't underestimate the staycation either. Like, just mm. depending upon where you are financially, I know that's on the screen right now. Mario, before the segment, would you say, we want a trip to the DIA? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, there are True. so many places in our area that you yeah. could really really make a very nice cultural experience uh, in a summer vacation. For sure. And the big one's driving. If, if we're staying relatively yeah. local mm -hmm. or within a state or two, yeah. driving instead of flying saves a lot of money. Uh, re Retirementeducation.edu for more with Michael.
right? The retirement planning edu.org. It's a mouthful. So close. It's so dang. Close. <laughs> Sorry. Michael, say that one more time. Retirement planning edu.org. Great. We'll get it on the screen next hour because Michael will be back with us next hour.